evening, gentlemen. Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow on you. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Taddy needs a drink. How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <sighs> oh, I have an idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. <laughs> Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. Benjamin Churchwell? He's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done. Charles? Sir? Seems like we're not the only ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. What do we do? We find him. Show you how. This is Saturday, as the schoolhouse is in need of much restoration. Should we write his family, do you think? Not our business to meddle, even if we've the best of intentions. But if you could have seen it. They were surely drunk, carrying on like that, and during the day, no less. Another mercenary. Notice is hereby given in future. None shall be admitted to see the new manufactory, lest they pay one shilling in lawful money. There's a piss-proud square. What scandalous behavior from one who aims to be a surgeon. Not likely, if he keeps up such carousing. Truly a shameful display. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him before he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the northeast, no doubt in search of a tavern or some other place of ill repute. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for higher ground.
to take a listen. With luck, one of those people knows what became of Benjamin. The Gazette! The Boston Brophy! Offering a golden guinea. I thought she was pretty. I couldn't. So is this a charge? But one way or another, the debt would be settled. I don't envy the man. He's green times ahead. Well, what do you think they're planning? All I know is it can't be good. Probably looking for a nice, quiet place to do the deed. From what I hear tell, his work usually involves quite a bit of screaming. Which reminds me, we'd best not buy any meat to your right? <laughs> Good call, that. But they all plead ignorance. Look at that! They're lying! Aye. Well, what can I do? Threats light off them and I'll not deign to grovel. Actions speak louder than words, my friend. Arrest one and put him in stocks. See if he's so glib then. To do so without cause will set them singing songs about us. Last thing the city needs is town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. Then forget it! The crime is done. The killer's gone. Those who know won't share their secrets. If the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it. Who's the scared postmaster wishes to inform the populace of a slight increase in the people. They waved me away. Insisted it was all under control. How odd. Did they say what had happened? No. Only that it was a trifling matter, and he'd be returned home soon. There was some blood, though. So I wonder if it wasn't more serious than they let on. Where were they taking him? Towards the hilltop. Perhaps there's a doctor at the fort. See, Charles? We'll have the church in no time. Just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you are raised in the manner that I was. Perception is fundamental to the order. It guides the feet when running and climbing, informs the hands when striking and fighting. But most important, it transforms the senses, and we begin to know the world in a different way.
Careful. The place is well guarded. We need to slip past them. Mr. Robert, I'd like to remind the city youth not to Hang play on. near the manufactory buildings. Following a recent spate of accidents, a new bylaw will enforce annual roof inspections by qualified craftsmen Let's go. throughout the city. The French commander de Jumonville has been killed in a clash of royal and French forces Stop. in the Ohio country. On me. Yes, he's Variety of good eye stock in my humble stall. Oh. I'll have to find the key. Wait here. Here we are then. Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide me with recompense and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very good. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe I'll take his hands. Put an end to his surgery. Maybe I'll take his tongue. Put an end to his waggling. Or maybe I'll take his cock. Put an end to his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. No, hold a moment. Perhaps I was hasty in refusing you earlier. 
I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas! I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my oh. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas, do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. <gasps> You'll get lucky and pass out. Though I dare say I'll do me best to ensure that doesn't happen. Just a quick little swipe and no more is. How's that sound, Mr. Church? At least I'll be spared more of your name prattle. A little bit from here, a little bit from there. Make myself a nice keepsake, I will. You are absolutely right. Just like all good artists. You're a ruffian. Common as dirt. Cut. Who? Who are you? Haytham Kenway, at your service. I... I don't understand. Why are you here? Uh, walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. <laughs> 